That's the problem. We're going sideways. We're going sideways. This is going to be a fun one. Oh, just... All broken bolts in there. Well, here we are Monday night and all recoveries start the night before. So we just filled up the 392 and of course we have the trailer behind it because the idea is go in, cover the Jeep, tow it home behind the 392. So a couple tools tucked down there in the back and uh, we're gonna go get us two for one tomorrow. We're gonna call it two for Tuesday. 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, California sunrise. Headed to the mountains. Well, we just unhooked the trailer, took the upper doors off, aired down the tires, and uh, it is time to go in. We picked up Charlie, so we're gonna fix Charlie's rig, and uh, then we're gonna fix the JK, and off we go. 826. You ready to roll, Ari? Ready to roll. All right. <laughs> We're at the mile marker. We're just dropping down uh, to the overlook. Should be there in about 15 minutes. Here we go. Made it to the overlook in pretty good time. Hopefully the beers aren't blowing up in the ice chest this time. And uh, up, let's head down the hill and get it, huh, Worry? It's 9.20 in the morning. We just left the overlook and we're rolling down Cadillac. Still in high range, making pretty good time. Probably put it low when we get to the V-Rock so we don't beat the 392. She is the tow rig after all. 947 and we are just coming into the springs and it looks beautiful this morning. Sun's out. It's already uh, almost 50 degrees. Yeah, it's bitching out here. Springs are looking real nice. Just uh, coming through the trees here, about to get to the green bridge. Oh, easy, a couple roots. And uh, it was a fairly easy ride in this morning. We're still in high range. Might get low range right as we crawl up Big Sluice since he's... There we go. Hit the rev limiter. <laughs> there it is, green bridge. And 10.15 in the morning. Look at this, they already got it all ready to go for us. High lifted. That is the problem. Damn. There she is. Well, let's get the tarps off and let's get to work. Oh, check in there and see if the, the new knuckle's in there. Should be in a garbage bag. Look at that. Look at that beautiful orange knuckle. That thing was delivered the day after it broke, ready to get fixed. Here we are two days later. We're gonna make it happen. First things first, get 
get the highest your arm off, huh, Lori? Yeah. Uh, the first thing of the day. Yeah. We got a new bearing. We have a new lower kingdom bearing, yep. So we're good there. Oh, that's uh, that's gonna be a problem, huh? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's. Oh, we got to If we want to use his studs, we'll extract those studs. Yeah. Here. Well, here we are on Big Sluice, and we run into three Hummers. Yep. You know, stupid ass Hummers. You know, I was telling a story earlier about Hummer on Big Sluice, but it wasn't vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go what's your name chris chris Paul. how's what what is this rig so 2006 hummer h3 oh, no. 6.2 6l80 np205 doubler um custom built dana 70 front ho72 rear on 43 inch mickeys did you say ho72 yes so nobody than, uses an ho72 look at this drop out third member round cover that's a what, 68 Chevy? Yeah, it's like 60. This one was out of like a 64, 68 around Was there. it a Detroit Locker HL72? Yes, it was. Oh, that's and sweet. And I got three spare 513 thirds at home, too. Nice. These factory 513s. XO cage, V8, all done up. Leather seats with heated seats, they still work. Oh, nice. <laughs> and it was cold this morning. Yes. So, what do we got back here? Uh, I'm Connor. This is 2009 H3, stock 5.3, four speed. Stock four to one transfer case, Kingpin 60 front, 14 bolt rear. I didn't realize they came with stock four to one. That's kind of nice. The adventure yeah. package came with a stock four to one low range. And then what steering box is that? Uh, Toyota FJ80. FJ80, forward facing Pitman arm. I see that. Got your limit Link. straps and tone rings all the way around. Oh, there we go. So limit there. straps and tone rings from too. WFO. Yeah. And then we got another H3. My name is Jacob. This is my 2007 uh, H3. It's a base model that I, I put pretty much everything that you can put on an H3 catalog, which is very small. And I see you got IFS. I do. I have IFS. I have the, the rear Rancho kit. I have the 273 to 1 T case, which comes with the base model. And those are 35s? 35s. 35s. And patience, and you're doing just fine. Very patient and a lot of rubbing. I don't know how they got the stock ones <laughs> right here back in 2005, but good for those guys. Well... But. You've made it uh, most of the way, so good luck, guys. And Thank you. We're going to keep Thank fixing you. that broken shit over there. In 40 minutes, we pulled the knuckle apart, new lower kingpin bearing, and new reed knuckle, because obviously that one didn't hold up very well. Yeah. Punched all the studs out, put a new steering arm on. Took, took all the steering arm studs out of the old knuckle, put yeah. them in the new one. Oh, yeah, saved everything, you know, trying to be on yep. budget there. Spindle studs out of the old knuckle into the yep. new one. The wheel bearings were a little toasty, so you had to the, replace those. The wheel bearings were nothing left. <laughs> yeah. Powder and rust. Oh, it was amazing. I'm surprised yeah. the spindle was in good shape. Yep. And then it, uh, drive slug, right? Yukon drive um, slug. So knuckle on, full hydro back on, mm -hmm. brand new rear wheel bearings, knocked out all the old races, knocked in the new races, packed the wheel bearings with grease. Oh, yeah, legitly. The right way. Yep. New spindle nuts. And then now he has a drive flange because the uh, locking hub broke into pieces as well. So you look, drive flange all back together. Yeah, this is what's then left of the hub. There's... A broken, busted locking hub, Freaking Warrens. old bearings, and uh, time to go home. Yep. Well, Actually, no. Time yeah. to go fix the next one. Next one. All right. One more, Trevor. One Here more. we go. All right, Ori. Where are we? We're about 100 yards from the first one <laughs> on a big sluice, and we got a JK with a blown up steering column with bad steering box so we haven't looked at it yet let's see uh, let's see I, what it looks like i hear the airbag went off in his face because the oh. hawking spring exploded or Woo. tangled and exploded if we had video of that that would be awesome he did definitely definitely oh rip some stuff off there. oh there's just holes empty holes in empty the holes that's not and how i you think i see oh there's a steering box in there oh yeah and there's oh. the steering shaft look in there oh man there's the steering shaft broken in half so i think box. the clock spring the box broke off the steering shaft broke and then the clock spring 
All right, what's it look like under here, Ori? I'm scared. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like with the S-Pod and the ARB, you can't see anything anyway. Nope. Oh, what's down there? God damn, you can't even see the box down there. This is going to be a fun one. Ugh. We're going to be coming in from the bottom, Ori. Yep. Doing their old reach around. Oh, well, there you go. there's the Toyota we just got fixed. So he's coming down. So time to do some JK stuff. Hey, yep. Jeff, Arabia's overkill. Jeff, what's going on? Wasn't overkill enough. Jeff. I guess it wasn't overkill enough, Jeff. <laughs> Ori, tell me what you're doing right here. I am organizing the tool selection. So, so I don't have to get frustrated digging through these bags because I put 10 pounds of shit in a one pound bag or 100 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag. So before we even start, we got this nice comforter yep. and we're laying all the tools out on it. So we know where everything's going to be. We can put the parts we take off. Then we're going to start getting under the hood of this thing. I've been wanting to use this for a long time. So that right there. It's not a boom box, it's not a tool. That comes with these white gloves. If you wanna put them on. Yeah, <laughs> high class stuff comes right? with white gloves. This is what I like to call the white glove service. So you put those fuckers on, you pull this thing out, then you take this, boom, you click it down right there. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is find your remote and you're gonna to wanna to pull the antenna out on your remote. <laughs> Can you see that right there? Yeah, what team now, you did you get this thing from? So you hear that? Holy shit. This is our jack. Oh and my this god. This is how we're gonna Bluetooth remote jack up the Jeep. So here we go. Figure this out. Well, let's see you get that actually under there. <laughs> dude, it's like on a perfect rock. Oh, dude, they were thinking of us. Oh my god, if that fucking works. Check this out, Ori. I'm checking it out. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. We're going up. Holy shit. Tires coming up off the ground. Oh, my Lord. It's lifting it. <laughs> you see my remote, the white gloves. <sighs> this is how we do it. Oh, that thing looks like it might slip off. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, we'll be good. Maybe we should bring a 2 by 4 next time and put underneath the diff where the gear oil is. Very possible. Oh my lord, Ori. Hey, we're off the ground. <laughs> She's off. That's you're good. Need, That's right? all we need. Yeah, you're good. Dude, just what a like unit. That. What a setup. We don't edit. Yeah, it works for me to edit. Usually he's filming, so this video is not going to be the greatest because we don't know what the we're doing. We're going to start the by pulling out the call of the shaft that's in there because that's going to be in the way of everything. And that's where the frame's just broken. And we may just pull. There's the shaft. So, no, oh no, we can get the inner fender out easy. Okay, so I can we'll get, get these that out. Up here. All right. So you got the inner fender well out. Yep. Out but here. this is one of the hardest parts. So yeah. you just smack on it because the box is all loose. Damn. There it is. Boom. No pickle fork. That is the trick. So the idea now is we got to get the box out of here. The inner fender no, I'm thinking is out of the box. way. We, it'll go up, but we might have to move the S-Pod. Well, I might just have to pull this uh, power steering line. We'll see. Okay. So we're going to bring it out the bottom, right? So you're going to have to drop the track bar out of the way. Yeah, we're going to have to come out this way just because there's not much room. You know what? That bolt's got to come out anyway because our new brace goes over that. Oh, yeah, that works. So there we go. Two birds, one stone. You getting there? Yeah, track bar's out of the way. HD oh. steering box. Damn. Out of there. Let's see... Uh, She's a little. If the box is smoked. No, uh, those are probably just. All broken bolts in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. And I, I don't think we're going to get those out. Oh, no. They're a little. Yeah. A little Boom. snug. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Boom. Dash eight. Yep. We're going to have to. Dash eight. I got my thread file. Oh, shit. Clean so, it up a little clean bit. Clean it up. Yep. If we have a little power steering link, it'll still get us out. So what we have here is he's. Oh, no, Getting I got the this line ready. Free knife oh, in a truck. Ori, is that your knife for doing recovery? Yeah, it's a toothpick, right? Holy shit. That's in case of bear. In case of mountain lion, bear, God, tweaker, dear. whatever you Well, want. there's the big bore box, and there's the stock box. It's pretty We're sharp for being one I found in a junk. We're putting the stock box back in. We just have to take these 
line fittings out, put them in here, and it should be good to go. And then just no big bore on the way out, Ori. Oh no. What'd you just do, Ori? Oh, I just switched the fittings in a box. So we took the AN fittings out of the old box and put them in the old, old box. And yeah, we got a new AN fitting on here. And a new AN fitting on the return. So the high pressure is a little sus, Ooh. but it that isn't punctured. Scary. So we'll oh. have to see. We'll see about that. Yeah, that might be a close one. That might be a problem right there. Oh my gosh. All right. box from the bottom up it's coming in it's always important important to uh, have the right tools right <laughs> yeah quality that's, that's exactly how you hold it to cut it shorter Come with that to purpose. bush the frame i think we're good to go <laughs> all right track bar is in brace so is on that is the synergy track bar brace which wfo has one for a JL. So if you have a JL, get yeah, ours. You should have those because the sleeves obviously rip out of the frame. <laughs> if he so, would have had that track bar brace, it was this would not the be a problem. The box would not have ripped out. Yeah. So, so now we kind of just patched over the broken frame. We're going to put the other two bolts in, and that's our patch to get out of here. Then we got to take it back apart and weld it all up at the shop. Yep. All right. So. What'd you just do? You put what in there in the intermediate shaft, Ori? Intermediate shaft's in, box is in, lines are hooked up. We're bleeding the system and I'm zip tying up all the wires that were. And then I'm in here. So you want to go about 20 times back and forth and this will get all the oil into the box, especially if you have a ram. And then uh, we have not hooked up the drag link. So that's why we can turn it so much. Once it's bled and we start it, it seems like it's not leaking oil then we will go ahead and hook the drag link up. So here we go. Test. Oh, we can't reach the key. But look at that, guys. Manual transmission. He gets a 10% discount for that. Yeah. And uh, so now, just work it back and forth with the steering wheel before we hook the drag link up. And I think we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and hook the drag link back up, put the tire on. And uh, Ori's putting the cool. radiator overflow bad. back in. We're good to go. Not bad. Rear Turn radio, right. Trevor working, getting dirty. <laughs> Which way you want to go? I'm in. Nice. A little bit more to the right. There it is. Nice. Every once in a while, I'll get dirty. Every Today's once in a while. The day, but I mean, come on, five minutes of a 10 hour work day on the Rubicon, it's me working. It's not bad. I'll not go bad. for that. Well, where, where are we at now, Ori? We are. To the good part putting a tire on and then hopefully uh, driving this thing so i gotta find the remote control oh it's in the box oh don't lose oh that. there it is go up just a little bit for me okay you ready to go up yep okay oh we're on that's good oh man i'm telling you this thing is top sweet. notch like it doesn't get any better than that oh yeah there you are with your uh, lug socket key that you just happen to have yep. the right never, one. Never which leave is home without it on a recovery, man. Just random. Um, two quarts of PSC fluid in there. We were eating on the Chips Ahoy cookies and the uh, tire going back on. So the tire's back on. So now we just press down and tell you what work smarter not harder Ori. Yeah, that's the way. you know and then if it's at night you go ahead and hit the light button boom there's the light so you can see light off boom on the remote and that's it that's our little buddy huh oh what there's a little gear oil on it we might have to get the rag and wipe the oil oh, yeah, fluid man. off oh, hurt that. Damn. a little coolant Coolant and gear oil mixed it's together. It's a shop utility tool, though. That's what happens. Yeah, they. Uh, we got to let the guys in Chinobia know that they did a good job on that thing. Yeah, somehow. All right. We got to take the battery off the side. Yeah. That's a DeWalt battery. A DeWalt knockoff? Yeah. <laughs> and then the battery goes over there. Right, I think, you know, right here.
clicks in there. Jeez. Oh, look at that. And then look at this. Then the remote goes right here. Did you put my gloves away? All right. Yeah, ready. And that's it. Well, we just finished it up, Ori. I think it's like 12, 15. Yeah, not bad. One o'clock according to this. But... Oh, one o'clock, all right. Yeah, and it's got a manual. I'm pretty that, hyped on that. Look at that, manual yeah. transmission. Nice looking airbag. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> well, that's your uh, two for Tuesday. Two for one package. Heading to the springs to have lunch and up the hill we go. Just like that, another day's work. Well, how is it, Ori? It's great. I'm not converted or nothing. I still like Toyotas, but this is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, not a manual, you, so I'm Are you happy. using the lockers or no? I don't even know where they're at, honestly, yeah. so I haven't touched anything. Really no need. Yeah. Here we are, Rubicon River. So, hit the trail a little late. I think it was like, what, 8.30 or something. Came on into the springs. Passed the springs, went up to about the middle of Big, Spl Big Sluice. Ended up on a Toyota that we were rescuing that the knuckle was blown off. We uh, had a reed knuckle that had already been dropped off by RTF. So we uh, went ahead and put that reed knuckle on, rebuilt the kingpins, new upper bushings, all new wheel bearings, repack the wheel bearings. Um, then we had to go about 100 yards down the trail where JK had the steering box blown off the frame. All the sleeves, welded sleeves ripped out, the box bolts broken inside the box. We had another steering box that we had actually got delivered down to that Jeep as well um, by RTF. Um, so really the Rubicon Trail Foundation completely helped us facilitate um, this recovery. All we had to do is take the parts they got down there to us and uh, put them in. I brought a few extra little things, but no big deal. So now just cruising through Rubicon Springs in the 392. Awesome Tuesday. Weather's great, about 70 degrees. No wind, 392's nice and quiet and smooth still, even after that one hour run in this morning in high range, which I, I might be in high range again right now. It covers a little bit more ground that way. So anyway, overall, just a wonderful, wonderful two for Tuesday here at WFO. So we're Driving up Cadillac right now. There's the Jeep, the JK. Box is working good. There's the Toyota. Um, here's me. Can't really film it very good because we're driving and there's no one else to film. So we'll just wheel up Cadillac here. One hand and while I'm filming. There is a big cliff off to the left there that you always want to watch out for. Here we are coming up around. These big, these are big boulders right here. Like you can't really see. You gotta hug it right next to the rocks. And then hard, see that rock and that one? Hard right, come around. Then you just miss this rock right there. Back around to the left. And uh, nice and shady here. Oh, man, bouncing. Two o'clock in the afternoon, two recoveries, two for Tuesday. So look at that. Charlie's got one old knuckle, one reed knuckle, one old block and hub, and shiny new drive flange. You're good to go, huh? Stoked on it, thank you. All right.
And then we got Ori with the old JK. How's the box holding on, Ori? Oh, it's still there, so we're good. Box held on by the track bar bracket and brace. Yeah, the brace. That's the ticket must, right must there. Your... And then there's the old 392. So, all right, Tuesday afternoon, not bad. One happy customer. Yep. Another happy customer's rig. All fixed. All by two o'clock. Yeah. Already at the Overlook, Ori. Good shit. I'll be I back in my Corvette by five. I think Ready you did pretty much everything. You did all the work. Yeah, that's usually what happens. <laughs> used to it. The old 392. It's like we don't want to go too fast now because it's going to get us back to the shop before five and we got to work some more. So this is one of the best ways to spend your Tuesday in late August. 100%. On the Rubicon Trail, t-shirt weather, 70 degrees. There it is, Desolation Wilderness, out. see these what do you got for lunch Trevor? all right so we got the rescue done and all of our rescue videos have to do with lunch but nobody knows what those are those are pocket tacos oh my god so i put those in my pocket right when we started working on the rigs and they're nice and toasty warm so you get hot you sweat it out basically pocket tacos are cooked by your pocket nice. and they're ready to go oh Two ready to go right out of your pocket mm. Mm. <laughs> that is good. Savory. That's how you end a recovery. Well, that's a wrap. Sway bar's hooked up, tires aired up, and uh, there she is. Two for Tuesday. The other one already left, and this is the one that we bolted a new steering box in over a broken frame. Clock spring's still broken. And the uh, airbag's nice, but uh, she's ready to go. Now it's time to uh, head home. Back in high range, back aired up. 3.50 in the afternoon. Ori did a great job. It was a good day. And uh, I don't know if you can see it back there, JK on the trailer. And we are headed out to Lake Top. We've made it. Yep, we're here. And uh, the old two for Tuesday, Lake Tahoe looks awful nice today. But there's not a chance I'm jumping in that water. It is 79 degrees here. So, four o'clock in the afternoon. I think those people might be having their cocktail hour right there. Oh, for sure. On our way home, and she's on the trailer behind.